Good afternoon, agents. Von Deagle here, and welcome to today's Division 2 build video. This is going to be part three in my installment of non meta builds that work. I guarantee you there is no asshat content here. These builds are simple, and these builds work. Anybody can use them. So, to start off with, uh, I just found the other day that you can actually create a build. Uh, for crit chance and crit damage that does not have any crit chance whatsoever rolled on the six gear pieces, attributes, and mods. Where we're going to get our crit chance from is the gear pieces themselves, the brand set bonuses, our weapon mods on our gun, and our third attribute slot on our gun. Uh, so let's get started with this build video. I've got a little bit of gameplay to show you first so that you can uh, see how the build works. And after that, I will show you the video and uh, you can let me know what you think. So let's get started with the video, with the gameplay, and we'll be right back with the build. Yeah. Enjoy. I'll thank you for the help. You're not in one yet. I I have to I have to perform well. <laughs> nah. That shit. That was right there was good enough for what I want. my backup gun let me get a uh, there run a Hamas in a sitar I'm cutting the alley over here let me get materials Hey, what are your uh, negotiator gloves like? Oh, here, I'll tell you what, I don't need these. You go ahead. Okay, and then you're probably better off with what you got. Hey, no problem, they all break down to blues. how stable this gun is for like from my standpoint Jesus I'm hitting crits in the 600s
hostile to another agent's group. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Okay, agents, now that we've seen some gameplay of the build, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with here. Uh, first of all, I'm working with the uh, Sharpshooter Specialization. I'm mainly using that for the um, the extra stability and accuracy to the uh, weapons. Uh, my weapon, my main weapon is a Sitar 21 with a 12.9 assault rifle damage, max damage to health, and I went ahead and went critical hit chance in the attribute slot, and I'm running Ranger on it. Normally I would go damage to target out of cover, damage to armor in the attribute slot, but to get my crit chance up to 54.5, that was the key on how to do it. Um, my backup weapon is the Invisible Hand. I've been coming around to this weapon. I really don't like the way it fires, but uh, with the weapon handling on this build, it's pretty nice. And I went ahead and uh, it's got max assault rifle damage, max health damage. I went ahead and went rate of fire on it because uh, I wanted the RPMs up a little higher. So a perfect leg row just wasn't enough. <laughs> But uh, I've got that thing up to about 796 RPMs, and it, it's, it's nice. My mask is a Providence Defense Mask, uh, maxed out weapon damage, weapon handling, and crit hit damage. Now, since I did not put any crit hit chance on any of my gear or in the mods, I was actually able to use s five of my attributes, because uh, the, the knee pads are Fox's Pro, I was able to use five of my attributes for weapon handling. And that's what gives me, uh, you know, such a laser with the sitar. Not that it wasn't a laser to begin with. Uh, the chest piece is a Providence chest piece uh, with headshot damage, crit hit damage, and obliterate maxed out. The knee pads are Chechka knee pads with uh, critical hit damage and weapon handling. Now, I went ahead and rolled these to armor as well as my Fox's Prayer knee pads with uh, damage target out of cover, max critical hit damage. I run around with 1.1 million armor, and that's about where I like to be that with my play style the way I play the way I like to uh, feel I like to have at least that much armor if not then one piece of armor for about 900 K and unbreakable um, my gloves are group of summer gloves max weapon damage 11.4 uh, crit hit damage and 7.0 percent weapon handling uh, I have not I've started to uh, optimize I've optimized the first two pieces I have yet to and the knee pads, I have yet to get the other three pieces optimized, but uh, I'm working on it. My backpack is a Providence Defense backpack with weapon handling again, 9.6 crit hit damage, 14.5 weapon damage, and another uh, max crit hit damage mod. And um, uh, that's pretty it. I, I keep a Reviver Hive on me in case I do go down, and uh, I like the Kim Launcher. It just it, it gives me a little boost to my heels every now and then, and, uh, and so I don't, you know, just blow through my my armor kits uh, let's look at the stats on it um, as you see I am 54.5 percent crit hit chance I'm getting nine and a half from my sitar I'm getting 15 from the mods on the gun the rugged mini reflex sight the laser pointer and the muzzle brake the gear sets are providing me with another 10 percent apiece and my watch gives me 10 percent so if I start out with my watch, that's 10%. 10% from Chechka, 10% from Providence gives me 30. The 15% from the gun mods give me 45. And then that 9.5% that I rolled as the attribute on my sitar, that's what gets me up to 54.5. If not, as you see, the invisible hand is at 45. But I'm hitting at 178.9% crit hit damage. And my headshot damage is 100% as well. I got that 8% uh, damage to target out of cover, so I do have some multiplicative damage on here. Um, I've been debating changing this out with uh, maybe a Fenris uh, knee pads or something of that nature, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. Like I said, uh, this is a uh, th this is what works for me. Um, I thought it very interesting that I was actually able to make a build with no crit hit chance anywhere on the build and if you think about the possibilities with that you have five slots 
if you use the fox's prayers uh, for an for ex attributes other than crit hit chance so you can go weapon handling you can go skill repair you can go skill haste you can go hazard you can go explosion resistance you can go armor regen there it, I think a lot of people um, you know look for crit chance and crit damage on their on their pieces and they don't look and see that they can actually get most of their crit chance from somewhere else. And if you happen to be using a submachine gun, you don't need that crit chance uh, on the, as a third attribute. You can actually go with damage to target out of cover or damage to armor because uh, after um, after the watch and two pieces of a uh, or after the watch and the two pieces of Providence, one piece of Chechka, uh the 21% max that you get on a SMG will put you at 51%. So all you need is one of the mods at a five percent to get you to fifty six, and it's all over but the crying. Uh, I think this gear set will top out at one hundred and eighty three percent critical hit damage. So fifty four and a half percent critical hit damage, one hundred eighty three percent, or fifty four and a half critical hit chance with one hundred eighty three percent critical hit damage at, at its at its optimum. I think the build is very viable, and as you see in the video, um, it, it's a laser with that sitar and um, headshots just come fairly fairly good uh, I think some of my highest crits I saw were 722k or 722 yeah 722k and then uh, uh, a lot in the 600s so with that I'll go ahead and leave you uh, good luck agents if you have any questions uh, about the build uh, please put them in the comments if you have anything to say about it uh, you have any que qu questions comment random thoughts put them all in the uh, comments and uh, we'll see you on the next video bye